What's happening, my wonderful, wonderful people? Hmm. With apology to Buhari, I will mention names of those that fought and shared Nigerians' money. Tinubu blast Buhari, uh, Obasanjo, and others. First of all, he apologized. Okay, first of all, he did apologize to. First of all, he did apologize to Buhari, but he said these people shared Nigerian money. These people shared Nigerian money, and today the country is what it is today because of the the parts they played. Okay, you know, it, 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 this was him in trying to, you know, in trying to uh, make Nigerians see him. He threw Buhari under the bus. He threw Buhari under the bus. He did throw Buhari under the bus. So it is what it is, my people. Politicians will be politicians. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. With apology to Buhari, I will mention names of those that fought and shared Nigerians' money, Tinubu declared. The presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, has once again called out former President Ulusegu Obasanjo and Atiku Abubakar for the share, for the shame and the pair brought on Nigeria, why they were in power, according to Tinubu, who spoke during during the U, the UBE's APC presidential flag off. It was a shame to see Obasanjo and Atiku arguing and sharing Nigerians' money during the time they were in power. That kind of leadership, according to Tinubu, will not happen if he's elected in in his own words, as seen by other, he will do much more for Nigeria. He will keep to his promises. With apology to President Muhammad Buhari, I will mention the names of those who fought and shared Nigerians' money while in power. I will mention the name of Obasanjo Atiku for sharing whatever money they made in government. What did they do? They started buying cars for their girlfriend. Shame on them. Were they not ashamed when you see the president and vice president fighting and arguing openly? Is that what you want? We are going to rever revive this economy. You are all going to laugh again. You are all going to enjoy it again. You are all going to be happy. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Nigeria needs compulsory change. And so... We will make sure we bring that change if you give us the opportunity. We will not allow the same thing they did to happen again. Nigeria truly needs this change. And we will ensure we do everything to bring this change into being. The issue on ground today has come to show to us that Nigeria must change and things must get better. It is important we understand that this nation is not for some people. It is for Nigerians. And we need to bring about a, a new order for this country to experience the change that we desire. So it is what it is. It is what it is. And every single person must understand what's going on here. Every single person must understand what is going on here. You know, that it is, it is, a, it is a matter of shame to mention but a few. It is a matter of shame. Okay. He said with apology to Buhari. Oh, Buhari's own height of uh, cor corruption is beyond words can describe. Oh, you don't understand. Buhari's own height of corruption is beyond words can describe. Oh, dear, you don't understand. Where they are, they are, they are carrying money, you know, if, 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 right in front of the nation, in front of the people, you know. And it, 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 we thought uh, good luck, Billy Jonathan was characterized with corruption, but this is corruption at the peak. Mm, this corruption has no part to. He said these people, you know, these people, I mean, when you look at it, you wonder what's going on in this nation. You wonder sincerely, truly speaking, what is going on in this nation. If anything is going to change, if we're going to get a good and a better nation, you'll be surprised that every one of us are important and we must contribute our potters and ensure that we do everything, humanly speaking, possible to bring our own spin into this by ensuring that the same people this is the same man who went to Lucia Gobasanjo and because Lucia Gobasanjo did not endorse him you know uh Lucia Gobasanjo now is the is the bad man is the bad man you knew he shared money when you went to Otatu visit him 
and to try to get his endorsement. But Obasanjo came up and said, well, I don't think I can endorse you. I don't see myself endorsing you. At the end of the day, you know, we're not saying Obasanjo is a saint, so don't get it wrong. No, don't get it wrong at all. That's not what we're talking about. We're not saying Obasanjo is a saint, not in the least. Not in the least at all. We're not saying Obasanjo is a saint. That's not the, that's not the point we're making. Obasanjo is not a saint, not in the least at all. We just all need to begin to ensure that the change we desire begin to come. And every single person begins to understand, you know, where we are at and what is going on. Because as a nation, as a people, everything that is needed, you know, is truly, is truly put in place and is truly really put in perspective so that we can come out of this. Remember, remember that we, 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 we must bring Nigeria, you know, into a place of change, into a place where every single one of us can truly, you know, we truly, truly know that we have a nation. The issue of what is on ground right now, okay, the issue of what is on ground right now shows us that every single one of us must bring this country, you know, because the rich keep getting richer. Have you thought about it? Yes. Okay. When the rich keep getting richer, they keep getting richer. They keep getting richer. They keep helping themselves to, to whatever they can get. They keep getting richer. They keep helping themselves to, you know, to, and, their, and their family. They keep helping themselves. Not for the people. Not for the people. You see, is that the kind of leaders we want? People who are mostly looking after themselves? Are those the kind of leaders we want? How did we get here? How did we get here in the first place? How did we get here? So if this change is going to come, if we're going to, you know, get everything we need, every single person, we need to begin to work at it. Every single person must get their PVC. If you have not collected it, go and collect it. Go collect your PVC. And let us begin to work at it and ensure that at the end of the day, we are all on the same page. Yes, we are all on the same page. Okay, let's ensure that we do that and get this nation out of the current predicament and bring Nigeria to where it ought to be. Remember, you are important in the scheme of things. It's not for some people. It's every single one of us. It's not for some people. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. And so we must speak out together and end everything that holds us back. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. From us, it's bye for now. Bye-bye.